Hello, ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Spartan. Back, another episode. Bought myself a little bit of time with the most recent episodes you all watched and have not had to record. And so now I'm back at it again a few days later. And, uh, oh, fighting these giant guys. I need to take him out, but I can't because his brother's coming. Oh, brother, where art thou? Um, but one thing I had to check when I first logged on was uh, a buddy of mine told me, hey, uh, based on your most recent episode, tomorrow, uh, when you get back on, you know you're heading over to the snow base, but it's going to be Horde Day. So I was like, oh, man, I'd completely missed that, you know, and I was going through and recording the last episode. So the first thing I did when I logged in was pause the game real quick so I could check the date and the uh, time. So we're good. Uh, we'll have all day today. Uh, day 140 is our next horde, if I've done my math correctly. If not, we'll be taking on the horde over here, I guess. But no, I'm pretty sure, you know, tomorrow's going to be a horde day. And uh, so when that comes around, uh, it'll actually work out really well this way this time because I won't have to burn off much, uh, if any time, off the clock. We'll just get started with it. So, need to uh, assess what I was doing here before we uh, called it. All right, I can see right now I need more barbed wire. What's in our inventory? 111 barbed wire. Let's see what kind of barbed wire we have in here, if any and what scrap we have left over. We don't have any barbed wire, uh, but I do have some scrap. Uh, of course, we could do this at any time. Let me go ahead and make the barbed wire that we can make here. How much of that? 126. You know what? Let's cancel that for now. We will do that. We'll jump on it right now. We'll jump on it. And we'll throw it down. That way I know how much I need to actually make uh, before I go plopping a whole bunch of it down and uh, or making a bunch of it and maybe not stand in it Grand Spartan so I hope you've enjoyed my edited videos here recently I uh, spent a bit of extra time trying to figure out how to cut and splice and everything nice and so Maybe uh, on Alpha 16, you'll see a bit more of that. Fast forward the mining spots with a little bit of music. Perhaps one day when I can get the uh, proper musical equipment, I'll start recording my own little uh, tracks for... Oh! My own little tracks for those, uh, for those spots in the videos. But uh, for now... Uh, that's probably how we're going to do it until the end. I won't leave out the mining. I'll just do it in four times speed like we've been doing here uh, past couple episodes. Um, you know, it's fun doing it that way. It is a good bit more work, though. I'm not going to lie. It takes a lot more time. But working on collecting enough uh, money and uh, parts for this new PC so I can have two. And I can have one for the video editing and uh, processing. And I'll be able to supply you all with a better quality uh, content here on the channel. So I could count this out or I could guesstimate. And I'm going to guesstimate that we need... How much can I make? Let's say 50. Let's just create 50. And they create fast. Look at that. In 30 seconds I can make 50. So uh, let's go ahead and start up here with it. And we'll slowly lie it down. So... Uh, slowly lay this down so we can make it as we're putting it down and we'll always need more of it too so it's not an issue oh standing in it Spartan there we go all right so we didn't need that uh, 50 quite we're 14 more than we needed so that's two rows of that uh, now like I said before I want to implement all the defenses that we've used before into this one base design and uh, so we have the the barbed wire 
Uh, we have some pillars. I guess, you know, the pillar of 50 defense down below. Uh, down here we have. Someone told me to put this spike that's on the bottom facing up. That might not be a bad idea to do now that I look at it because if you run directly into the point here, it doesn't do anything. You know, I'm pressing forward. But if I go a little bit more into the side of it, it does do damage. So let's try that on just one of the spikes real fast. And if that works, then that's how we'll change all of those because I still haven't upgraded those to steel. Uh, so we left ourselves with a little bit of wiggle room there where we're not wasting whole bunch of uh, spikes. Let's try this out. I have my uh, pickaxe on me. We won't use the auger for it. We'll just use a pickaxe. So I think he was talking about this one. Sure doesn't take long to destroy these things from scrap. Steel's uh, certainly the way to go. Okay, so now if we're here and we're, uh, we're a zombie. Uh. All right, so... Yeah, this one almost prevents you from taking damage on that one. Uh, someone said barbed wire, but barbed wire wouldn't work on this because the zombies would hit it, and it only takes like two shots from a zombie to hit it. The way it works so well out here is that they don't hit it. They just walk on it, even when they're lying down crawling on it. Now, it degrades just like a spike does. As it does damage, it loses durability. Uh, so that's why you see it go away, you know, spots here and there when I take on a horde. I uh, also want to mention the uh, horde that I'm going to take on. I think I made the decision today to take the horde on in the free fall bunker in the hub city. Now, it is going to get trash. It's going to get wrecked because so far... Um, we took on a couple hordes there, and there was only, I think there were only eight per wave spawning back then. And since then, we've increased that spawn to 40 per wave. So they were wrecking that base when it was only eight. I can only imagine what they're going to do at 35. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up with it, but it should add a bit of excitement. And if that base goes bye-bye and it gets crashed down and crumbled to the ground, then, you know, so be it. Uh, we have a couple other bases we can fall back to now. So I had a hole here, and I don't remember in a previous episode if I had taken the bars and filled... There it is right there, okay. So we just ran out of bars. I see now... So we're going to extend this on down with the uh, few bars that we have here. We should be able to finish this out, I hope. My hope is that we can finish the bars and be done with that section. The only thing I'll be short on is I do want a little hangover. I want to have the bars hang over the edge. Uh, one, just one over. And I don't even really know if it'll hold that much uh, weight going out. There's so much weight up here already. And it's holding strong. But I don't know the dimensions of this place. I forgot what we measured it out at, but I certainly don't think I'm going to have enough with uh, 88 to go all the way around. So there we go. The bars have been completed uh, on the interior portion. Now what I was going to talking about doing was putting them like this all the way around the uh, outer part. To have one more hanging over the edge and then that gives us a little bit of play so that I can look straight down you know I can get out here and look down and shoot down on them uh, my plan is to use guns uh, for this build uh, but I did a bit of uh, sampling and testing on the server a couple days ago on how I could use the log spikes uh, small spikes are easy you just plop those down uh, but I'm going to have to, so I don't have any steel to upgrade that. I'll have to get back to that. I might have to play with it here in front of you all once we get the proper area set up around these defenses. But I just thought it would be a cool way to go out with a bang. Uh, Alpha 15, put up every defense possible that at least that we have used 
the wood spikes, the log spikes, the barbed wire, the free fall pit, the 50 pillar design, all of that stuff and just pile it into one base. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, the other thing is because this base is kind of dependent on me shooting down onto them and cops are going to be shooting up at me. Uh, and they're going to try to beat on these pillars is to take out as many as I can before they ever even get to that base. So that's why we're going to build some uh, some defenses going around it. Now, I, the one thing I was thinking about is how much space do I actually have to do that? Because see over here, we have a hill. It's a huge drop off right here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, see, so I don't know how many of them are actually going to tunnel through. There's a wandering horde down there. Look at that. Fortunately for us, we're uh, up here. So I don't know how many are going to try to tunnel through right there. If they're going to actually run up the mountain. The same goes for this side. So I'm sort of limited. I don't have as much space as I'd hoped that I had to come out here and do some really cool, crazy defenses. Also don't know how much time I have before Alpha 16 comes out. My hope is that they released a test version of it initially for people to get in and try out usually uh, you know you have about a week or so something like that before the full version comes out so that'll give me time to kind of decide that we're going to wrap this up and uh, finish with it whoops there's a mountain man over there we're gonna lumberjack there's your tree mr lumberjack oh fell the wrong way take all these guys out before it's nighttime and we have to fight them running at our faces all right oh, there's a oh that wandering horde is coming this way Ugh. at least some of them are oh you messing up my barbed wires man what you doing look at that you're gonna make me hit the snow I don't like beating up on the snow. Can we have another mat? Oh, your head got in the way there, man. Sorry. Whoop. All right. Let's see here. What can we do? We can get rid of all of the uh, zombies that are... Coming over here for this wandering horde. Hey there, fella. All right. Well, that pretty much uh, takes care of all of that. Now, let's see. This plan that I have, this evil scheme. <laughs> well, <laughs> this evil plan that I have it's going to take some room now let's see how much rebar we have I don't even remember because it's been a few days if uh, if I stopped by the other base and topped everything off and picked everything up and all of that I guess I must have that's what happens, you know, you leave for a couple days and make sure I don't have anything useful in this mini bike. Nope. Oh, you know, one thing I didn't do, though, I haven't eaten, had anything to drink. Oh, look at that. Must have topped that off before we uh, ended the last episode. Look at you, Spartan, thinking all ahead. I don't know what to think about that. All right. Well, we're good now. Now let me go over here and take a look at this and what we can do with it. Have an idea of what I want to do with it. I just don't know how I'm going to implement it quite yet. But we got a lot of digging to do around this uh, base area. Where is it at? Is that the only steel shovel that I have? Surely, I didn't leave that at the other base. 
Oh. Hello, shovel. So we're going to throw that in there with that and get us a little better shovel. And instead of drawing the, uh, all the zombies, the screamers to us, I guess we could use this shovel. It's going to save us uh, time in the long run. Having to fight those screamers. Oh, fall on through there. There you go. Help you on through. All right, well, um, I guess I could do one of those speed things on here, but I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little crunched for time tonight and getting you an episode tomorrow, so instead of doing that, I know it's, uh, it's going to be kind of a pain. We'll try to talk about some interesting stuff. Uh, I realized... After the episode, the coal mine was right there really close to where we were at. Uh, Glimpse actually found it today for me uh, on episode 72, 75, something I forgot now, but 76. But anyway, he found that for me, and so I looked at it, and uh, you know, sure enough, there it was. But it's okay, now we have two places to get coal. So we're not uh, limited by just the one. If we run out there, we can just go to the other one. I'm pretty sure I left it in a position to where we can go back and get plenty of coal. I said I wasn't going to use this. I was going to use the shovel, but this is so much faster than the shovel. As long as we have gas. Oh, I did fix the gas too. Look at this. Let's see if we can get it working right. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. See, it, this was just already pre stacked from the last time we played it. But you can't stack more than a thousand. Pronto told me, he's like, sent me a message. He's like, hey, uh, Grand Spartan, you know, you never did fix that gas. And, uh,. You might want to fix that. <laughs> so I went back in the XML. Remember I did that how to edit your XML mod your XML file video a week or so ago. And I did not think I saved anything. I was just plugging in random numbers like, oh yeah, here, if you want your gas to stack to 5,000, here, just just put a 5 here instead of a 1. And I, I did not think I saved it, but apparently I did. And it uh, implemented it into my single player game. So... Uh, that, and I think the water, I right, accidentally upped the stack of that. So we took all that back down to uh, vanilla settings now. So it's about to be 2200. Expecting a uh, Screamer Horde at any moment now. Some of you have been asking about True Survival Mod. Uh, Val Mod. And uh, be honest with you, I don't do any of the mods. I, I mod the server a little bit. Uh, stack sizes, those sort of things. But as far as a, an actual mod like that, uh, yeah, I don't do that. Uh, I talked about maybe on Alpha 16 when we get tired of it. Uh, and maybe even not at that point, but at some point on Alpha 16, I may start a, a modded version. You know, So I have an episode of uh, vanilla every day and then an episode every day or uh, other day or every week or something like that of the survival true survival of the uh, uh, but I'm very aware of them uh, I belong to a stream team on twitch and in that stream team the majority of those folks play with those mods and so I know all about them I know uh, most of the ins and outs just from watching them struggle with them and uh, it really don't offer anything to me that I'm interested in. But for you all, if you're interested in it, I would, uh, I'd be willing to give it a try, you know, and, and see. Uh, but uh, anyway, so I just wanted to address that because I get that pretty regularly. Hey, you know, have you heard of True Survival? Have you heard of Valmod and all of that? And yeah, I've seen all of it. And uh, uh, back when Valmod had the steel spike, I said, you know what? It would be worth it if I could get Valmod, disable everything that has anything to do with Valmod except for the steel spikes. 
really thought that was a cool feature. Well, what do you know? The fun pimps thought the same thing because they implemented steel spikes into the game. So, uh, pretty much if it's good, if it's good, the fun pimps are gonna, they're gonna implement it into the game if it's something that's really game changing. And that was to have the ability to implement a steel spike into the game that's gonna last so much longer than your scrap iron. It's gonna cost more to keep it up, sure, but it's gonna do a little more damage and it's gonna, it's gonna hold out a lot longer. Uh, so uh, what an excellent decision it was to go with that. Another thing, uh, the drawbridges. The drawbridges and, uh, of course, I don't use the garage doors, but the garage doors as well. Uh, a gentleman modded those into his game, something like a Val mod, but something he came up with his own. Uh, what do you know? The fun pimps implement that into the game. So if it's really a game-changing feature that adds to the game, they're more than likely going to implement that and uh, you're not going to have to worry about some mod pack or whatever to uh, you know, to make it better. Also, they've already talked about uh, download content at some point once the full version of the game comes out. Uh, they're not going to just end there. They're not just going to stop. Uh, they're going to be uh, offering download content for the game. So, uh, you know, to keep the game fresh, to keep people playing it, So it's all stuff to look forward to. I'm sure they will not disappoint. Let me go ahead and take this. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> I was going to say take that down so I don't waste the iron. But but I love the game as vanilla. I mean, I'm, you know, I know there's some of you that don't, you know, feel it's a little lacking or whatever. But just the vanilla game has so much. And you can go in and tweak your fi just like we did for the Horde. If you don't think it's hard enough or you don't think you're getting enough zombies, turn that 8 up to 40 and see how you like it. A lot harder. A lot more zombies at one time, just as you've seen in these most recent uh, weeks in the Horde videos. So there's plenty of ways you can go in. And I teach you how to do that in that XML video that I uploaded. Uh, yeah, absolutely can do that. Boy, this is a weird little glitch. There we go. So there's no excuse, ladies and gentlemen. Don't give me that... Not enough zombies. I don't want to hear it. Showed you how to do that. Oh, I don't like that at all. Um. Hmm. That was a game-changing uh, fault right there. Look at that. I don't even know what's going on, but I'm trying to fix it. Experiencing a little technical difficulty here, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be leveling out soon. There we go. There we go. One, two, three, four. So this is just the start of this area, certainly not going to be the end all for uh, how far I go out with it, but we're just going to start with it, we're going to get it all put down, see what we are uh, what we end up with. And uh, if I like it, and it looks good, we may extend it more, just want to give myself the most possible area for defenses. And uh, we're certainly going to need a lot more wood, so whenever, hopefully we are loaded into the chunk, let's take a look at the map. Hopefully right here, we're loaded into this chunk and that these trees are growing in this tree farm because we're going to need a lot more wood. Uh, we're, we're very short on wood. Now, I have a lot of scrap iron. Makes me kind of want to drive back over to the base once I get this dug out and uh, make sure the forges are kicking 100% full because we're going to use that scrap iron uh, we're going to use the steel. We're going to need a lot of spikes. Uh, I'm going to get spike crazy here before too long. Yeah, someone called me out on one of my early videos today on the Let's Play. They're like, oh, you're already cheesing out the game. <laughs> and going underground, hiding underground. Well, 
you know, I explained it in a little comment there that I left that it's not cheesing out the game whatsoever when it's an intended mechanic of the game. Uh, if they didn't want you to be able to go underground, uh, you know, they wouldn't, you couldn't dig and make a base like that. Uh, they, you know, also said something about they can't wait till they put digging back into the game. Well, I can almost assure you 100% that zombies digging straight down will never be implemented back into the game. And i tell you why. If you don't know, uh, we talked about it before. Uh, zombies digging straight down. If you've been around since the start, since like old Spartan has been around the block, kids. You'll know that when they could dig down, you would just be walking around the map and all of a sudden here's a hole that goes straight to bedrock. And then, oh, look at here, there's another one, and another one, and another one, and before you know it, your game's crashing. Your map is Swiss cheese, unusable in a lot of areas because there's so many holes all over the place. Whoa, lady. Now we can already kind of use our defenses a little bit for some of these guys and gals. See where they're coming from. How did I miss him? Oh, another screamer. So I can't see a way that they could ever implement it back. And okay, I'll give you a great example of why. So I'm sure another screamer. I'm sure you all have seen a zombie randomly we just had a zombie the other day that was randomly standing at a stone beating on it until it was completely destroyed he just beat on that stone looked like he was carving a little statue out of it well imagine that but imagine a zombie or two or 20 standing in random areas just digging straight down well they're going to end up at bedrock and then who knows where they're going to tunnel to but it's going to be a mess and that's exactly what they were doing a long time ago when they could dig straight down like that uh, they were just making a mess of the place and you know enough digging around like that and you could you could crash your game it absolutely would uh, back then i don't know if they had ever fixed that before they just took it out altogether. but i could never see the fun pimps implementing that back in Unless they worked out the AI, and that's a that's a tall. You're asking them to do a lot just to add in that feature, uh, when they can just make the game harder by making zombies that can do other things. You know, to make it harder on you, uh, whether or not you want to go underground. But getting back to what the comment was, my base was uh, the pillar defense, and it sat about five blocks deep into the ground. And the reason I did that, I could have made the same exact build above ground with the pillars, the 50 pillars and the spikes, with me in the center and the spikes around the outside, uh, except for my build was me on the outside with the spikes on the inside. Uh, and the reason you do it that way early games because, you, you know, resources are hard to come by early game. There's not uh, to get a horde-ready bunker by day seven. It's not easy, and you don't want to miss out on that loot for the seven-day horde. So you want to be able to fight that horde and loot each and every zombie because they have guns and food and water and clothes and all the stuff that you need. So uh, by doing that base the way I did it, I uh, was not exploiting the game or anything like that. Uh, it was simply utilizing the mechanics of the game uh, best you could, you know, at that point, that stage in the game. And uh, I don't know of a more efficient way for farming the seven day horde than doing it that way uh, that's simply the the most efficient way uh, using the cobblestone pillars and putting nine spikes i think that base started out with nine scrap iron spikes from what i can recall we totally decimated that first seven day horde and all those after in that tiny little base now, like I said, I could have easily just gone above ground and built something just like that instead of doing it four or five blocks deep into the ground. But uh, it would have taken more resources. I would have never had it done by day seven. And then I would have been hiding underground for the seven-day horde. So, like, I don't understand that comment, and I've kind of seen it a few other times uh, before uh, about hiding underground. And I, it's one thing if you're hiding underground like... Uh, 
you're just going to bedrock and just sitting there for the horde. I am physically killing, like fighting the horde when I make those bases. I'm not going down there and just waiting the horde out. No, I'm, I'm taking that horde out with my spike club or crossbow or whatever, and I'm getting all the loot. So, um, yeah, don't let people dissuade you about making a bunker that's, you know, underground uh, like what you've seen. Uh, even the free fall bunker, you see when they come in at us, those things are, they're destroying that base. If I don't keep upgrading, keep repairing, you know, they're going to destroy it. So it's not like just some end all build this and, oh, you can just sit back and you know, no one will have to worry about anything. No, they're going to destroy. They're going to come through those pillars and destroy your base if you're not working it. You got to work it, girl. Got to work it. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to address that. I, I, I get that comment every once in a while. And it, it, it doesn't make me angry because I know some people don't understand the mechanics of the game or whatever. But, uh, you know, there's no more efficient way to take out a seven-day horde that I know of. I'm sure someone has covered it in some form or fashion uh, by day seven now i tell you this when alpha 16 comes out i'll assess the whole thing first but when we do our let's play i think the first base i'm gonna do is a barbed wire base that's how we're gonna start out i'm gonna kind of assess how much uh, scrap iron we can come across for the first seven days and instead of focusing that into making those log spikes and doing that little 50 pillar build we're just going to use barbed wire now like i said i have to assess they could decide that well, they could decide to take barbed wire out of the game but they could decide that barbed wire is no longer going to delim it's no longer going to slow them if it slows them 50 percent now it's only going to slow them 10 percent or it just gets destroyed in five seconds after they step on it or whatever it is they decide so i really have to assess everything before we you know go making that a guaranteed way of how we're going to do it but i think on alpha 16 my first base if nothing changes with barbed wire it's going to be a barbed wire defense and we'll start off there just like we did with the little mini bunker that we had on this one uh to kind of collect our resources and uh well, it looks like I can see through that rock. Okay, that's just grass. So, uh, just give you a heads up on that. That's that's a plan. Uh, as long as I read the patch notes and you know all that barbed wire is still good to go, and no, they didn't throw any whammies in there for the barbed wire. Uh, but we'll also have to see how hard those traps are going to be able to create. You know, to create one of those. I know on the forest when I play that. Um, the traps are cool and all, but the problem with them is when you make one of those traps, it's only good for one, we'll just call them zombies, you know, since we're in the mode of zombies, they're really not, they're like mutants or something, but uh, on there you have this trap and it takes all these resources to make this trap and you make it and one zombie runs through it and bam, the trap is useless. You just got that one zombie. Well, in this game, that ain't going to do any good. So, because uh, you're going to have so many more than just one coming at you. So, we'll just have to feel out those traps and see what kind of traps they offer and uh, how well they, uh, they hold up, all of that, before we start digging into them. But I'm pretty excited now. We're getting close. Uh, if all goes well today, actually, as this video is airing today, if all goes as planned, I will be ordering my motherboard and processor. Uh, and perhaps the case or the RAM kit or something like that. I, I think I can afford, you know, just a couple more pieces than the motherboard and the. Uh, and a big shout out to Old Crow Express. Old Crow Express. <laughs> He's been stepping me through the process of uh, uh, building this PC and giving me suggestions and advice. Uh, he's a very fart smeller. I mean, a very smart fella. And uh, knows what he's talking about, and he's certainly helped me make my mind up on some pieces that I was looking at um, building this thing. So I'm really super excited. It's been five years since I've, you know, had a new PC. Uh, this one I have pretty much uh, polished, polished this turret as much as I could, and uh, it's been a good one. It's been a good one, but it's it's time for a replacement. So uh, hopefully. Um, you know, I think my goal was summer, by this summer, the end of summer. 
Uh, but I think now we're going to push that date up a little bit to perhaps uh, uh, another month and a half or so from now. So I hope it uh, all works out like that. In a month and a half from now, I'll have a new game in PC and I can offer you all better, better quality content. Uh, of course, you see with my graphic settings here, I do not have them turned up all the way. I have most of it turned up all the way. This GTX 1070 is well good, doing well in the uh, processor I have and all, but uh, it's time for some modern equipment. And uh, yeah, old uh, old Pronto on the server there with us and uh, supporter of the channel here. He just built himself a new PC. I was excited for him. He's uh, he's able to game it up. And frame it up. Lots of frames per second. Oops. One, two, three, four. It's going to be our cut across point. And then down here, well, we'll just go down there. But anyway, a lot of things happening. A lot of things are uh, happening here in the next uh, next few weeks. Uh, would be ideal to have the PC built before Alpha 16, it's going to be a race. I don't think it's going to be possible unless unless that money tree in the backyard starts pooping out some money. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to uh, get it all put together by then. Uh, but, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what uh, how long it's going to take the fun pimps to come through on their end of the deal and provide us with the Alpha 16. Kind of want them to take their time, make sure it's all right. So... We don't have a mess like we did on uh, Alpha four, uh, 13. Uh, 14 was, was fine. I know some people had issue with thir uh, 14. Uh, I had no issues with Alpha 14. Alpha 14 worked beautifully. Uh, Alpha 13, however, eh, there were some memory leaks, uh, some issues like that that made it kind of hard to play. Uh, you'd have three screamers spawn, and then before you could even kill those three, here come three more and three more on top of those and it, there were just a bunch of little things like that that they eventually got worked out uh, but um, yeah out 14 I don't know if any of you had any problems you know you can tell me below there if you did I know uh, bad buck the twitch streamer he was having endless hordes he would have a horde hit and it would never end and uh, you know I guess he would log out and come back in it was still there and I never had that personally so I didn't really have to experience that, but so uh, what do we have here? <sighs> We've dug this all out, and I think now I'm just going to fill it back in with dirt. No, I'm just joking. I think <sighs> how much is this going to take? I could sit here and do the math. I'm too lazy for that. Let's go over here. And get some more of this stuff kicking in the forges. Uh, we don't need all these snowballs. Snowballs. Assemble. Assemble. Scrap. 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 All right, so we can dump the dirt in there. We can dump our concrete mix in there, at least some of it. We're not going to need that. We'll take the stone and the crushed sand. We'll do a sort. And we'll just go with what we have here. Let's check this other chest to make sure there's nothing in here I need to take back with me. Or we can scrap that. Anything, anything at all. Don't see anything I need to take with me. I'm just going to leave all that stuff there. Let's shoot back over to the old uh, base of Ruski. And... Whoa! Sounds like I was driving over my leg. So I think this is going to work out beautifully with the horde hitting uh, today. Because I'm I still have about... 15 minutes or so of time to record and that's going to put us about halfway through the day so maybe I won't have to run any time off at all uh, of course when I run time off I say that but I'm really not doing uh, but what we do need to take care of is I need to get to that uh, base 
Matter of fact, you know what? We probably don't even have time to go back to the snow base. And we're going to call that base Snowfall. Old Glimpse, he named that thing Snowfall. And he said I have to pay him for the rights to it and all because he named it. But uh, that's a good name, Snowfall. Got a little free fall, a little snow. Call it Snowfall. But I don't know if we're going to have time to go back over there today and take care of that or not. Uh, or do anything else over there, I should say. We certainly have to run back over and grab our weapons, our sniper rifle and that type of thing. I did leave that. Uh, before we do that, let's get this stuff sorted in this base. And we'll probably end the episode with trying to get over to the new base, or the uh, Hub City base, and uh, get some things done with it. I don't think I need any more cement mix now. I think we're good. I guess it couldn't hurt to make some, but... Uh, let's get these forges topped off. What do we have for steel? For iron? Alright, we're getting a little collection of steel going, but we're going to need it because, uh, we have to repair a lot of stuff over at this, uh, at this freefall bunker. I can't tell you how many weeks it's been since we were over there and taking that, uh, taking on a horde in that base. And we certainly haven't done it since, uh, okay, that was iron too, I forgot that. We certainly haven't done it since uh, we upped the spawn rate. And that has me a little concerned. I think worst case scenario, if we die and they break into the base or whatever, uh, there's not a whole lot we have to lose there. But I think there should be enough steel to get us by there. Tell you what we'll do. We'll do that number right there. We'll get three stacks of that. Have a little bit of wood. Do we have any wood in here? Yeah, we'll take another stack or so of that with us too. We're going to leave this stuff running. Kind of surprised there aren't screamers standing on top of screamers. With a side of screamers. Uh, is there anything here we need to take? I don't see anything in there. We had some concrete mix there. 4,000. Uh, no explosives do we need to take. Bullets, I guess we could take. It's a shame you can't throw the bullets up into the uh, forge and just smell them like that, you know. Get some fireworks going on. All right, so we're going to take all this stuff back with us. Let me get my nail gun on my belt to get it out of my inventory. Uh, gas, kind of leave that over here. We'll leave it at the, at the snowfall. I'll start calling it snowfall. We'll leave it over at that base. We could take the horde on in this little thing, but, man, it would be like zombie soup up in here. They'd be swimming around on top of each other. There's no, uh, we have no area to kite them around in or any of that. Uh, they'd just be swimming all over each other. I don't know what might happen. Uh, and I kind of need this base, the free fall base in the hub. If it falls, then it's fine. You know, we'll deal with it. But if this one falls, yeah, it's kind of crucial to our little operation that we have going on over here. Operation Snowfall. I think I have to pay Glimpse a uh, dollar every time I say it. So uh, I might need to cut that down, that name Snowfall. Ah, cut it out a little bit because I keep saying it. So let's, uh, we're right here. Let's get back to the base. Let's grab up our stuff. It's kind of looking at this uh, airdrop. Oh, that's way out there. Yeah, we won't be getting that. Well, how about this tree stump, though? Nothing in there. So the base is starting to come together now. It's starting to look like a base. We almost could take one on over here, but I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to ruin this base and and use it too soon. I want to make sure we're all prepared and everything's beautiful oh shoot I meant to get some rebar frame going so you know we might actually have to go to the other base the barbed wire base because we left all of our guns over there uh, something I could do right now is get another spike club going Is there anything else here? First aid kit, we'll take it. 
We better take half this. Uh, we have a little bit of scrap iron left on it. Should be good. Okay, let's go. Let's get it. So off to the hub city we go. And we may have to go to the barbed wire base. I think I have an AK-47. At least I could put one together. Uh, in the... Uh, the hub city base so if i could do that then that's probably what we'll do we won't have to worry about going over there i don't think there was any ammo or anything we needed at the other base the barbed wire i kind of been leaving my hort supplies over there because uh you know that's where we were taking on all the most uh, recent hordes so like i said this should put us about halfway through the day here on horde day when we end this video and we come back tomorrow, we'll, uh, we'll be jumping directly into the horde. So it gives me about 10 minutes or so here. It's probably going to take me the better part of uh, five just to get there. And once we do, we run inside, we dump off the few things in our inventory, and we start to scramble with repairs. I do not remember the shape of this base. Oh, do I not have any concrete on me? Oh, man. You know what? We're going to have to go back to this little base and scoop up a little bit. I bet you, I think some of those pillars had been degraded down to concrete and they had taken some, some hits. So I just need to grab a stack or two. It's a good thing we didn't get halfway over there and I realized that because I'd have just said the heck with it. You know, we just let it go. I could just destroy it and, you know, I don't know. I don't know what we'd have done, but we're right here, so... Good thing I thought about that. Had some in my inventory too, and I took it out over the uh, snowfall base. <laughs> snowfall. It's probably more like no fall. So they go up over there, they're not going to want to fall down into that bunker, that pit. All right, had the uh, thing with Jiggy up there going too. I forgot about that. Um. What do you call this thing? This silly, silly thing. This chem lab. Look at that! Look at all that gas! Look at that gas! Look at that gas! Alright, so we're gonna leave some of that gas in here. We'll take four... Take four thousand with us. How much wood does that have left? Has enough! Look at that, sixty-six hundred left. So let us shoot on out of here. We're not going to have much time at all to take on this uh, before this horde hits us to get everything ready. It's probably going to be Spike Club in it, you know. My plan was to get the AK and to shoot the zombies through the pillars this time to change it up since we had always used a Spike Club. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I think the bodies are going to pile so high we're not going to be able to hit them in the head with a spike club. I, I, if they were piling up too high with eight per wave, I can't imagine what this is going to be like uh, with this many per wave. We're going to find out. We're going to find out how a little free fall bunker is going to hold up against uh, 35 or 40 per wave. So I've been looking at all your suggestions here recently as well for games that uh, you'd like to see me play. Uh, absolutely, keep posting them. The, the best place to do that, maybe I need to make a slot on the channel for that. I, I don't know how I could do that, but uh, best place is episode 119 and go type your answers there. I've been kind of, it helps me to keep track of it. I probably should be typing them down somewhere as people suggest them, but uh, I've just been trying to remember them. But I've had uh, Rust, Stranded Deep. Uh, probably would not play Rust unless I had my own server. Back in the day, I had a 100 man and a 150 man server that I rented and ran as admin. Never really played it a whole lot myself. It's just kind of a babysitter on there. Uh, but I did play it recently. There's another game called uh, Hurt World. And if you've never heard of Hurt World, but you like PvP, that game is really good. I enjoyed it better than Rust. There's some pretty cool features on that game. 
Now, I think Rust is a little more uh, intricate in its design. There's more to it. But Hurt World's kind of simplistic, survival PvP-based game. Uh, just as frustrating. You know, you're going to have people kill you. You have a base that you have to build and try to defend. Hurt World's not a bad game. But uh, The Forest... The forest could be, if I get many more suggestions for the forest, uh, I may try to cover that. Subsistence, I don't really, I bought subsistence and I got a refund for it the same day. <laughs> I was like, you know, because the video showed something a little different than what it was in game and I just didn't, I couldn't get into it. I'm sure it could be a great game and all, I just couldn't get into it, I couldn't dig it. Uh, but, uh, Stranded Deep, I, you know, I played a little bit of that. I have that game. Um, and The Forest, I'll have to look at the most recent updates and what they've done with that game. I played it about two months ago. A buddy of mine and I played it, and it's not bad. I love the AI on the game. They're, you know, real tricky and deceiving, and one's running in front of you while two are circling back behind and that kind of thing. That's kind of cool, and you can build bases on there, and... And that's all neat. Uh, I don't know how many people would actually watch me play that, though. Uh, but uh, I was hoping that maybe here in the next week or so, by me mentioning this, enough of you would comment. Um, hopefully, like I said, under episode 119 is the original video where I asked you all to post that. So I have a good many suggestions under that video. Uh, believe it or not, <clears throat> I don't think I've had the same game suggested more than once they've all been different games uh there was a little zombie survival game that was on there that's i forgot what it was called if it survived the night too or something but it actually didn't look bad you know it was kind of a top-down view game it was pretty cool i passed up some bags we'll try to get those on the way out so we are here at the hub city base we're gonna run down see what kind of damage has been done to it Get all that repaired tip top 100%. Repair all of our spikes that haven't been repaired in weeks and weeks and weeks. And we're going to hold our breath when this horde is approaching. Because I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, you know, but like I said, worst case scenario, the base crumbles in on us. Falls in and we die and we lose everything. You know, well, so be it. We have some other bases that we can fall back to. I'd like to think that that would not happen, but uh, but you never know. You never know. So we do have some first aid kits there we can use. And I did a boo-boo. Look at that boo-boo right there, ladies and gentlemen. I made this gunpowder in the workbench and not the chem lab. I spent twice the amount to make this stuff than if I had just made it in the... Uh, Kim Lab, my little guy is making the noise that he is dying from heat over here, so let's take that off. Uh, so the 762 ammo. We'll do that right here. Get us another 500. Get our 10, get all our ammo situated. See what we have. So we're starting to collect a decent amount, but we're gonna need that. Uh, for brass, we'll just stick this here for now. We kind of have a couple places we've been keeping brass. I have an overload of brass now between here and the other chest. Uh, Gunpowder, we'll stick in here. Do a sort, see what we have. We'll stick our clothes, our jacket, and hopefully I don't forget my leather duster, my fancy leather duster. Stick that in there. Have enough to make some more repair kits. That's probably going to be a necessity before we leave this base is to make as many of these as we can. Uh, make some bones into glue and so forth and so on. Uh, let's take a look at the base before we end the episode, though. Uh, this was the one pillar I was concerned about here. I remember this one being down to concrete. It looks as if... Make sure I don't need any more concrete, because I'll take it out so I don't upgrade any of the concrete to uh, reinforced. Let's uh, stick it down here. We had a decent amount of sand and all down here, too. We need to repair our spike club. 
So I got a lot of repairs to do here on the spikes. It looks like we you know, have not touched those in quite some time. Uh, it's not taking a whole lot to repair those. A lot of steel, but... Just a time to do it in. So maybe this episode, uh, when we finish, tomorrow we'll have ourselves set up so we can log in and take on this crazy, crazy horde that we're going to see. I'm excited. You know, I was kind of nervous today getting on. I was thinking, man, so much needs to be repaired in that base. I haven't been there in forever. And it's horde day. And uh, then I logged on and realized that we still had a day left. So that, whew, <laughs> breathe a little sigh of relief. So now we know we have time to get everything all fixed up. And give our... Uh, Give it our best attempt. I mean, that's all you can do. I really feel like uh, we're going to have our hands more than full. I think zombies are going to be piling up to the sky. And uh, I, I just don't know. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. But we're going to find out tomorrow. Because it's already 1,500 now. So when we log back in, we'll just have literally minutes at real life time here to get to that uh, to that horde. So I need to do as much as I can do right now. This is all good, you know. I think the horde's been coming in from that one side for as long as I can remember the few that we took on over here. Uh, make sure all these pillars are 100% because they're going to be taking a beating. And I can only imagine, you know, all I, I'm not going to be able to loot corpses in this, uh, this horde. All I'm going to be doing is clearing out the corpses. So you're going to probably get a little frustrated to see me waste all of the loot that we're going to waste. But it's absolutely going to have to happen. I, I don't think I'm going to have the ability, the time uh, to, uh, you know, to, to loot the corpses and, and everything else. So that's it. Let's look at our AK-47 real quick before we have to end. Do we have one that's in good shape? We do don't okay so AK-47 barrel uh, receiver the parts and the stock so we can make one get these all repaired up here I thought I added a better repair that barrel. It's just almost repaired. Well, we have one. Uh, let's go ahead and get our ammo. We got about two minutes left, a minute left here in the episode. I say uh, 691. If we use more than that, then we wasted a bunch of ammo. Uh, throw our fuel. Eh, we'll throw our fuel where it's actually supposed to go. We'll throw it down here. Have an extra set of repair kits or first aid kits on us. We'll throw our spike club in here and get it repaired. I'm going to leave my auger on my belt and some of these other things just in case I die and the place caves in and I lose my bag. I don't lose my uh, auger. So that would be very, very awful. I don't think we could build another one right now. Well, that is it for the day, ladies and gentlemen. You come back tomorrow and you can see whether or not it is a failure or success taking on the horde with such a massive spawn number in this style base. And if it and you know can in fact hold up to such a, a horde, we're going to need steel in our inventory. Let me do that now before I forget and... Uh, but thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen, supporting the channel. I love each and every one of you, Old Crow especially. And I'll see you all tomorrow.